Good morning everyone. Welcome to Cast North Anglin. You're in for a bit of a treat today because we're going to be doing this. Good morning guys and welcome to the maiden voyage It's been a while from I've uh, from I've cast one a pike fly and two been on a float tube starting to think I might maybe a bit too old for this first cast from the float tube I've been looking at one of these from about easy October of last year and I've been really really excited to get back on one. I did own one about seven or eight years ago and I had a few nice fish on too as well believe it or not and then obviously I bought a boat and no time then to get out anymore so it's something I've been meaning to do for a while finally got one Fully kitted out. Well, not completely fully kitted out. I'm waiting on the I'm waiting on fish finder coming from Remarine and uh, the attachments then from from Real Blazer. So uh, it's going to be a well kitted out machine by the time it's finished. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's a strange feeling. Use my brand new fry rod on reel as well. Or trying to use it, should I say, so it's a secure big fly, 10 weight. I have to say it's a it's a lovely rod, really, really nice to use. I have to say how just how stable this is. The float tube, um, the one I had quite a few years ago was uh, it was a fair bit smaller than this, I have to say. But in this here, it's, honestly, you think you're in a boat. So casting, casting's going to take ten or fifteen minutes, I think, just to get get the hang of it, oh, wet the line. So that's the fly I'm using. Don't ask me what it is. Fly fishing is not my forte at all. So it's a white fly. And that's as far as my knowledge goes with it. Okay, switched on to a smaller fly. Sort of a white and green perch pattern. It's a fair bit smaller. Different sort of material as well, more of a th synthetic material. And it's definitely a bit easier to cast, that's for sure. So I feel like I've been chopping and changing and moving and messing a lot more than what I should have. So I'm going to stick with this fly now, definitely for a while. Stop, just keep casting. <sighs> I think it's became quite apparent that I'm not as good a fly angler as I thought I was. It's only taken a while to get used to this again. Oh, 
Yeah, fish on. First fish on the flow tube. First fish on the fly. Nearly pulled the rod out of my hand. Don't think it's a monster. Well, I don't know actually. Oh! <laughs> what are you like? It's holding deep, that's for sure. Oh! He hit that with an absolute vengeance. So keep your fly line tight, Simon. Oh, there we are, we're on the reef. There's a bit of weight to this, but I think. Oh. Starting to lose the spur there for a minute. Thinking this is crap, I don't like this. And then boom. What do you like? It's not even really a massive fish. <laughs> But that, uh, he hit it with an absolute vengeance. And he's putting up a serious scrap to the size of him. Okay, I think you're done. Come to Papa. Very lightly hooked. Wow, fin perfect again, lovely, really lightly hooked, just on the scissors, thank you, first one on the float tube, first one on the fly, there's a kiss. I'm not going to lie, that was really needed. I'm starting to get a bit frustrated. Even though it's still only, it's still early, I've only been out on it an hour or so. But uh, quite a few tangles. Just trying to get comfortable on this thing. Casting wasn't the best. Trying to remember what it was like to cast a fly and then boom, all forgot about. Not a monster, but a really nice fish on the fly. Probably one of my biggest on the fly actually, I think my biggest is only about, about 8 or 9 pound. He wouldn't have been a million miles away. So a lovely fish to get on the fly. Practice for a big one. At least you know there's the odd fish in here. Yep, on again. I told you, when you find them, you normally find them all. Whoa! He's been hooked onto the chin, that's why he felt like that. Quick releasing this guy. Not hooked yet. Here we go. Another stunner. Lovely. Both in the same place. I told you, you find one, you find them all. Where's the big yards?
And that one actually hit on the paws. And again, three fish, three casts, and all in the same area. Oh, that's a bigger one. Hit on the paws again. Even similar sort of fish. Wow, <laughs> I'm loving this now. Three fish, three casts. Wow, a long time from I've done that. Oh, the fish are absolutely stunning in this lake. Okay, so this one's took it a bit deeper. Uh huh. Here you. and easy. No harm done. Thank you for playing. Wow. Okay. If we do four fish and four casts, I'm not gonna lie, I'll uh, nah, I don't know what I'll do. It'll blow my mind. I did four fish and four casts. What? <laughs> no way. All in the same area. <laughs> this is amazing. What is going on? Similar size. The poor flies took an awful hammering in the last five minutes. The guy has a bit of a bit of a deformity on his lip, on his gills. There we go. Four, four casts. Wow, four fish. Come on, let's do five. There's no way we can do five. Getting close. Too good to be true. Four fish and four casts. In all the years I've pike fished, I've never ever done that before. That's, that's unreal. One just came up on the surface and had a go at it. Go. 
Come on. Yeah, <laughs> I took it that time. Oh, get out of the weeds. I tell you what, these things really, really go on the fly rod. I thought that was only a small fish because it was only a tiny. It was only a tiny, uh, tiny splash on the surface. It's actually not a bad one at all. Completely engulfed that fly right down. Where are you? I'm gonna see you. There we go, fish number five. All seem to be a similar, similar sort of size. The excellent fun on the fly rod, that's for sure. Just like that, we're gonna call it quits. Um, more so because my right leg is completely numb from the hole in my waders. <laughs> so yeah, um, leaving a bit earlier than what I usually would, but uh, I've, had a, I've had a good day, I've enjoyed it. Five fish I think it was, I think, I can't remember. I know four of them came on four casts, which is mind blowing. Um, when that happened, I honestly thought I would have had a lot more fish, but it must have been uh, just a quick feeding spell in the right time at the right place. Um, but yeah, the wind is the wind is awful now. The fishing was almost impossible there the last hour, so it sort of helps with the reason that I want to obviously call it a day early. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make my way across now. Um, it probably take me a while with the wind because it's sort of blowing against me now. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, thanks for everybody that has subscribed as well to the channel. If you haven't yet, please do. It really, really helps. Um, and yeah, catch you on the next video.